Good morning, Andrew and Alex. That shooting, as we uh, first told you yesterday, happened very early in the morning at a home, which neighbors say is frequently used as a short-term rental. The victim in all of this having to be driven here to Jackson Memorial Hospital by his friends. Now, one day later, we are seeing surveillance video showing the moment that gunfire erupted. And we're also hearing from a family who lives right across the street. They say one of those bullets came inches away from striking two of their kids. Surveillance video capturing the bright white flashes as a gunman unloaded a hail of bullets near Southwest 34th Street and 104th Court on Saturday. Right after, a man is seen punching the victim who fell to the ground behind a car. Minutes later, that victim gets carried away before being driven to the hospital. Es una cosa horrible que vivimos esta noche, mi familia wow. y yo. Inside the home right across the street was a family of seven, one bullet going straight through their front door and into the wall of their children's bedroom. No, yo me derrumbé. Yo lo único que le decía a mi esposo, dime que el niño está bien. Dime que no pasó a peor y ya yo no, no estaba en este mundo. Yo pensé lo peor. Ahí es una. Several other bullets hitting their house, including one in their car window and even their mailbox. Neighbors say a party was being held at the home where the shooting happened, adding that the house has been used for short-term rentals for the past year, and they often see large gatherings there. Is the Airbnb or algo así? A man outside of the house refusing to speak to us on Saturday. The terrified family across the street now worried this could happen again. And we are told by neighbors that that victim suffered several gunshot wounds to his leg. At last check, according to police, he was last described as being stable here at the hospital. So far, though, his name has not been released, and officers haven't released a description of that gunman either. If you have any idea who was behind this, contact Miami-Dade Police. For now, that is the latest live outside Jackson Memorial Hospital in Miami. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.